we're back. As you guys might remember, in the beginning of the season, we mentioned that we're gonna be covering the Police Academy, and this week, the Police Academy is at the range. Uh, this week is their qualification week, similar to SWAT school qualification. They have a course of fire that they must complete, and they must get a certain number of rounds uh, inside the target in order to move on and pass uh, the Police Academy. So let's go meet up now with Sergeant Jacobson. He is a longtime instructor here at the Police Academy, and he'll give us and he'll give us a little more insight into what is going on today. So let's go. Sarge. What's hey. up, man? What's up, Nick? How's How everything? Doing? Good, how you doing? So what's going on? Introduce yourself on the vlog. Dennis Jacobson, Sergeant Academy Supervisor. And you guys might have seen him on season one when we were at the driving range over at the college. You did a little cameo and you spoke a little bit about the cars. That's right. And now you're over here. That's right. A man of many traits. <laughs> a few. That's right. A so few. can you explain uh, what's going on today at the range? So today we got uh, Pack 126. 126 is going to be doing their firearms qualification today. Uh, they will have six attempts to qualify either back to back or three out of six attempts. Uh, the max score is 48. They got to get at least 39 out of 48 to qualify, which is 80%. And like I said, they got to do that back to back or three out of six attempts. So how long have they been at the range? Um, we started on Monday. We started at seven o'clock in the morning and went to four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, they've been here. Uh, it's actually been a good week. It got a little warm yesterday, but uh, this is probably one of the better classes that I've seen come out here. And I have no doubt that they're going to do well today. All right, so qual day. If they don't pass today, what happens? They don't pass. They get uh, four hours of remediation, and then they will come back and try to requalify again. All right, and and during the academy, how many times do you guys go to the range? Twice. Okay. We call it mod one and mod two. Mod one is just basics firearms qualification, uh, and that teaches all the fundamentals, the foundation of shooting. Uh, that's what we spend the whole week on, and of course, FDLE requires that they get qualified at the end of the week and then mod two they do some more high speed stuff all right and our our viewers our 15s we call them they're our backups yeah they've seen um this season we were at the range here during the swat school and i know you're swat former swat one swat always swat <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so can you explain a little bit of the difference of the range today versus maybe the previous weeks when they saw it during SWAT school? Yeah, SWAT has to qualify with their handgun at a 90 percentile and the, the recruits have to qualify at 80 percentile. Okay. Well, that was short, sweet, and to the point. And one last thing before you go. I know you're retiring soon. February 1st is my plan. How long have you been here? It'll be 27 years when I leave. 27 years. 27 years. And uh, appreciate your time here. And you ended your career here in training, passing on that wealth of knowledge. Yep. It's been an honor, my right. friend. Thank you, sir. Enjoy. All right. All right. So to break it down, in the academy, you get six attempts to pass the course of fire. In order to pass, you have to pass either twice, back to back, or you have to pass three times out of those six rounds. So to give an example, if you pass the first and second round, you're done. Or if you fail the first round, but pass the second and third round back to back, you're done. Or you can pass the first round, miss the second round, pass the third round, miss the fourth round, and pass the fifth round. So there's a couple different combinations on how you can pass here at the fire and bridge. My good friend, Officer <laughs> Rob Thompson, what's up, man? What's up? All right, you guys might have seen him. Season one, Explained a little bit at the gun range. Uh, Officer Thompson is an armorer. 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 With, close, close enough. With an with a extra er <laughs> at the end? With extra er. All right, I'm saying it right. <laughs> so um, he's going to explain a little bit about the weapon that they're using, the weapon system that they're using today. And basically the weapon system they're going to be using for the rest of their career, correct? Right, right. All right, so go ahead. Uh, so we went over this probably about a year or two ago, but it's relatively the same firearm. Uh, the majority of the, the cadets out here are carrying a, what's called a Glock Model 22. It's a 40 caliber firearm. The only thing that separates this really from any gun you buy right off the shelf from a factory is we immediately outfit them with night sights. So Officer Thompson, did they get that to the tack light? It's not an issued equipment. However, uh, if the officer after probation signs up for a four hour class, 
we go over tactics associated with the uh, tactical pistol light, at which point they can purchase their own with the corresponding holster and utilize that on duty as well. So they have to get pretty much certified? Correct. All right. Officer Diaz, what constitutes as a hit or miss? Four and fives are hits. Anything out of the four and fives are misses. Miss. 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 All right. Forty-six. Good. Good. Sarge, how many total rounds do they shoot um, to qualify? So the combined total can't be any less than 39. So the left target's 20, 27 rounds, and the right target's gotta have 21 maximum rounds on it. Which is a total of? 48. 48. 48. 36, would you get the first one? I got the 39. Okay, relax. Still got four relays. Don't have stuff start creeping in your head, okay? Four relays, relax. Okay, you. Take what you talk about. 42, sir. Your first one? Yeah. DQ. Okay, you got, you got one more, one more. Yes, sir. Diana, what'd you get? I passed, I passed. Did you get 37? 39. What'd you get the first one? 39. Good job. What? What is that? That's the roach coach. The roach coach. The roach coach. <laughs> the long-standing tradition. The best food in town. Guys, it wouldn't be range day without the roach coach. Recruit Comas. Yes, sir. What's up, man? How you doing, sir? How's everything? Good, sir. So you are the guide on. Yes, sir. All right, so can you tell me a little bit about what your duty is and that flag, what's the relationship there? Well, in the beginning, we usually they pick a guide on and they'll switch between all the athletes, but in the third week, they had chosen me as a permanent guide on, so I've been permanent guide on since the beginning of the third week. So every morning we'll do flag and we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance and I'll carry it and I'll Present arms, bring it back up, and all that. Can you demonstrate? Yes, sir. All right. So basically, your morning routine, you come out, they say, present arms. And it's down like this. All right. Order up. Arms. All right. Boom, bring it back up. So, what's so important about your position here? It represents our whole class as a pack, as a whole. We're all together as one. That's our motto. We go by that. So, so what's the motto? Yeah, as one, sir. Okay, and you got to carry that 24/7 at the. 24/7. No matter where we go, wherever we go as a class, on top of the garage, wherever it is, we're going with. It. So do you take that home, or it stays in the class? No, it stays in the class. But if we come out of class, like we are here in the range, take it with us. All right, and number one rule of the guide on. Don't let it touch the ground. If it touches the ground, everybody's <laughs> dropping with it. <laughs> so, uh, can you demonstrate how you do PT? Because you have to do PT with it, yes, right? Sir. Can you demonstrate like a push up or something? So, if we're doing push ups, you roll it up real quick. Bring it around your back. One, two, three. One, one, two, two. One, two, three. One, two. Three. One, two. 
Four, awesome. One, two, three, five. All right, recover. Yes, sir. All right, well, much appreciated in letting us know what the guide on does. That is a very sacred thing you got going on there, very sacred flag. Yes, sir. It's an honorable position, man, and I know your classmates uh, take pride in you having it. Yes, sir. They're over there watching. <laughs> All right, man, I'll let you get back to work. You qualified. What's that, sir? You qualified with your firearm. Yes, sir. Outstanding. Thank you, sir. All right, brother. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Um, there's only a few recruits left uh, that are still on the line trying to qualify. The other recruits back here that have already qualified, what they're doing now as like a show of camaraderie is that they are posting their targets for the recruits that are left, and they're also loading magazines and having them ready for the recruits that are left on the line. So they're just not sitting back there hanging out. They're trying to help and motivate their fellow classmates so that they too can pass the qualifications and move on to the next step in the academy. Officer Thompson, <laughs> quick update. So, so far we have two remedials, which means they'll be coming back for more training and then requalification sometime in the very near future. There's still three people alive. Right. So this is the very last round. Uh, we're thinking now they just wanted to shoot more than everybody else, and that's why they waited this long to qualify. So. <laughs> All right. All right, on the command of fire. You gotta draw your firearm. Seat cover behind your barricade. You gotta fire three rounds on your left target, then three rounds on your right target, followed by three rounds on your left target. Perform a magazine exchange, and for behind cover, it'll be three left, three right, three left, reload, and three right. Stand by. What are the tabs for? It's just a visual indicator that uh, they don't have any any uh, magazine or round chamber. So we can look at it right away and know that they can't pull the trigger and hurt somebody. Right. Prepare for ammo inspection. Inspect. 
All right guys, so what's going on now is they're doing an ammo inspection just to make sure there's no extra loose rounds in the pocket, that there's no rounds inside the magazine. And uh, because they have the tag through the barrel of the gun, uh, they know that the gun is not loaded. Alright guys, you know the routine. Class leader, take it away! Don't forget to like, like share, 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 subscribe, hoorah, hoorah, hoorah! And we'll see you next time. Adios!